this is Kim on behalf of glutenfreehomebrewing.com and we are going to start our next segment. We just finished with the mash and I turned off the pump and, we are, and I turned it off here and here. We're going to go ahead and remove the cam off. That was a little messy. <laughs> Okay. If it is hot, so make sure you're wearing your gloves. And then I'm going to put the little pipe. couple things to keep in mind there is it is very hot so make sure you're wearing gloves please um, the handle is a little short so you want to make sure you go straight up not to one side or the other or it'll slip out and you don't want that and there are remember in the first segment or second segment I showed you the little feet sit on the stand so you just lift it up twist it and set it down, preferably in all four, which is why I had to keep adjusting is one kept coming up short, I only had three out of four. <laughs> now we have four out of four, and we're draining. I've got my sparge water ready, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and do my sparge. Um, I'm not gonna make you watch that though. We will come back for the boil. This is Kim with glutenfreehomebrewing.com. And we are at the boil. I finished the sparge and I set the temperature to go up to boil, turned on both burners uh, and brought it up to a boil. Uh, put the hop spider in and we are ready for our 60 minute addition of hops. first top addition in and in 45 minutes we will add the yeast nutrient, the Warflock tablet, and the second hop addition. So the boil is finished. We pulled out, shut off the pump, shut off the burners, and of course hooked up the wort chiller which is now in there cooling the unit. And we're actually with the regular immersion chiller that comes with the unit, it's dropping reasonably fast in my opinion. Um, seems to be working just fine. We're going to keep going uh, this direction until we get it down to probably around 72 and then start transferring it into the fermenter. And then we will pitch the yeast. We'll see you then. Okay, so we're all chilled down and pulled the wort chiller out. We have the fermenter behind it. So you probably can't see that. I'll have to move the camera here in a minute. But you're gonna want to note, let's see if we can zoom in here. I'm going to turn on the pump. have the hose in the fermenter from the racking arm. And we're going to start. Pump. Pump on. Valve. All the way open. And Dropping it into the fermenter until she's empty. And we'll shut that off. And I do believe all that's left is pitching the yeast. This was our test and review of the new, newest Bruzilla, uh, the 3.1.1.
and honestly with the couple of snags that I, I hadn't actually fastened the cam lock all the way down everything else worked really great um, we just did a manual brew this time but uh, next time I'm thinking of doing the next recipe using Andia Pro and Ceramex doing a step mash with it um, so you might want to check that one out so from Kim on behalf of home glutenfreehomebrewing.com. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.